Peace and blessings to everybody out there. Welcome back to the Fake Woke Podcast. This is your boy, Bobby Ville, and I'm back with another video. All right, I'm here to finally talk about the East Palestine, Ohio derailment, the flight that crashed in Ohio, and the several other factory plants that went up in smoke. Um... Let's get down to it. Um, at first, when I first saw the derailment, um, I didn't understand what was going on. So I let more information be uh, uh, be released about the derailment. And the more I read about it, the more it started to become fishy. Because at first, everybody was like, well... This looks like it was planned, this, that, and the third. And I was just like, I don't know just yet. Let me, let me get some more info. Let me get some more info. And once the article came across my timeline of Biden denying the rail the, the rail workers uh raise because it was a bill that was supposed to come out a bill that was supposed to get passed in order for them to receive their raise in order for them to get finally get paid sick leave for for uh for medical appointments and a whole lot of great stuff that would have made that would have uh, uh, gave them the upper hand when it came to them actually being unionized rail workers because for the most part as of right now when it comes to medical appointments they don't get paid they don't get paid leave for those they don't get paid leave for medical appointments which I thought was kind of strange due to the fact that you're in the union they were supposed to get a 24% pay increase too on top of that job is pretty dangerous and I see I understand I understand they need their money they need their coins right so once I found out that Biden actually denied that bill and passed the bill so they won't be able to strike to make it illegal for them to be able to go on strike that's when I started to look at it real closely come to find out on that train that derailed one in Ohio, the brake system was bad. They did not replace the brake system on that train. Hence why the train ended up derailing with tons of toxic chemicals. Now, you would think they would go over maintenance on that train, that particular train that had tons of fucking toxic chemicals. They said about 300 tons of toxic chemicals. And the most the most important one was the vinyl chloride. They ended up entering the the uh, the atmosphere, the the soil, the water. They tried to burn it off, but they turned that into hydrogen chloride, which started raining acid. Hence, why you saw that big black mushroom cloud over the city. Now. Since I've been reading about uh, Palestine, since I've been reading about uh, chemical pollutions that cause the sickness, it's starting to look it's starting to look real similar to Houston because they had not a derailment, but a lot of people was living next to a chemical plant that was causing them to get sick. They were starting to get weird cancers from that chemical plant. It's starting to remind me of Mossville, Louisiana. Another area that was predominantly black. Um, that was located right next to a chemical plant. And a lot of people of Mossville were coming out with these weird cancers. And all of these and all of the politicians 
the, uh, the heads of the company or the plants or whatnot, they weren't sitting there telling these people, like, no, it's not from the pollution. It's from the fact that you choose to eat poorly, this, that, and, uh, and whatever the case may be, right? But come to find out, it was actually the pollution from... Hold on. It was actually the pollution from the plants that was making these people sick. Because once they, once they sat there and they tested their blood work... Come to find out a lot of these people were sick because of the pollution from the plants. And now I'm, I'm and I'ma be honest, I'm gonna put my tinfoil do-rag on and I'ma tell you straight up, in the next few years, you start because I'm I know for a fact they're gonna try to cover it up. But in the next few years, if you start hearing about weird cancers coming out of Ohio, it's because of the derailment and how they chose to handle that derailment. They chose to try to burn those chemicals, which that was an irresponsible way to try to handle them, handle that derailment. That was a very irrespons irresponsible way to handle that derailment. Because all they did was sat there and burn those chemicals and turn those chemicals into a more hazardous chemical. I'm talking about the vinyl chloride. And there was other chemicals too that you did not want to come in contact with. It was a lot of people making videos. One one particular person, I forgot his name, sat there and made coffee out of the water uh, out of the water that was contaminated from the uh, chemicals. And then he made coffee out of bottled water. Guess what happened to the water that came from the faucet? He made coffee out of that water, right? He decides to put half and half in that coffee. The coffee starts sizzling like he was frying bacon. Now, I'm not no organic chemist. I'm not no chemist at all. But that don't look good to me. I wouldn't drink no, I wouldn't drink no sizzling coffee. I wouldn't put my fucking, I wouldn't put my fucking finger in that shit. But they were sitting there telling people that the water supply and the soil and everything was perfectly fine, but you saw fish wash ashore dead. Dead fish washing ashore. You seen birds drop dead out the sky. Just drop dead. People that was driving through East Palestine, Ohio, was complaining about how their cars were corroding. Now ain't that some shit? Now ain't that some shit? Now every now now I, I'm seeing a whole bunch of uh I'm I don't know what you call them theories, but I'm seeing a whole bunch of uh, comparisons to white noise. You could call that predictive programming because. In White Noise, the Netflix film, there was a train derailment in Ohio, which caused the civilians of that particular city to be evacuated. Okay? Now, the movie was about the, it was about the derailment, but then it went off the deep end on the last... 30 to 40 minutes of the film so I, I kind of started tuning it out but for the most part you could call that predictive programming the same thing with Contagion and the pandemic that just passed if you haven't watched Contagion go watch Contagion and tell me if that's not what happened to us but just on a more dramatic scale they tried to make it seem like that that, that pandemic shit was exactly like Contagion I mean, what I mean exactly like Contagion they tried to make it seem like that uh, Wu-19 was just as deadly as that virus in Contagion which it wasn't <laughs> but it was definitely predictive programming it was definitely predictive programming in my personal opinion I, sit, I, I tell people all the time Pay attention to what goes on around you. Pay attention. Don't trust the don't trust the media. 
don't trust these politicians. The media will lie to you because they're in the pockets of the politicians. Politicians gonna lie to you because they're in the pockets of the companies. All they're trying to do is just keep their jobs going. That's, that's all they're trying to do. They're trying to keep that money flowing. They're trying to remain millionaires. Because that's exactly what they are, millionaires. All of them. People that work in legacy media. People that work in the... Uh, people that hold those Senate seats. Those congressmen and women. All of them are millionaires. All of them is trying to keep their pockets fat. They don't care about the people. And you see them with East Palestine. Because they sat there and they lied to those people and told them that that water was fine. But yet they seeing dead fish squash ashore. They seeing birds fall out the sky. People complaining about their skin burning. But you telling them that that place is still habitable. You're able to still live in East Palestine, Ohio. You're not. They might want to evacuate that whole city and keep those people far away from that city. Don't even drive through that city. Because that place is going to end up like Mossville, Louisiana. It's going to end up like a, a, a Cancer Alley in Louisiana. You're going to see a whole bunch of weird-ass cancers pop up. And now you're seeing a whole bunch of different derailments, plants catching on fire, all types of shit. Now, I'm on record for sitting there saying, I don't believe in coincidences. I really don't. And now I'm starting to see this shit more and more. I don't believe in coincidences. Food plants catching on fire. Farms catching on fire. They harassing that black man in Colorado, killing off his livestock. I don't believe in coincidences. I don't. America eats his own baby. I'm gonna say that one more time for Dr. Umar. America eats his own baby. I don't care if you vote Democrat. I don't care if you vote Republican. I don't care if you sat there and you switched over from Democrat to Republican. I don't care if you did vice versa, switched over from Republican over to Democrat. It doesn't matter what plantation you switch you switch to. You still on the plantation. Once you get your ass off that plantation, you stop believing in these politicians and the shit that they say. That's when you become free and that's when you start seeing the truth. Because as far as far as I know, as long as you sit there and you cape for either side, you are part of the problem. You are part of the goddamn problem. Now I'm gonna tell y'all this. Y'all better enjoy your freedoms while you got them. Because it doesn't matter if it's a Democrat in office, it doesn't matter if it's a Republican in office, your shit gonna get stripped. Y'all might want to start really paying attention, especially if you got kids. I've been doing this shit before I even had a child. Okay? I've been paying attention to this shit before I even had a kid. The world that your child is gonna inherit, you might want to make it the best place you possibly can. And I'm telling you that now. Y'all ain't gonna y'all ain't gonna wanna live in, live in this fucking America that's coming up. This fascist communistic America that is coming down the pipeline. Stop playing into the division. The division game. Gay, like I said in my last video, gays versus homosexuals, men versus women, women versus men. Black versus white. Because the only people that's getting the short end of the stick are all of y'all. The, the your real enemy, the people you really should be fighting are the people in the suits, the people that run these companies. And it just seems like we do not understand that. We sit here and we cape for these Joe Bidens and these Donald Trumps. That's not the route you want to take. Because they're going to sell you up Shit's Creek in a jiffy. 
I see uh I see uh, uh, Donald Trump was the first uh so-called politician that stepped foot in Palestine. He trying to get his grift up. He know that he know Ohio was the reason why he won that presidency. He's trying to get that shit back because he got to go against DeSantis, the white Obama, the conservative Obama. And I'm going to be honest with you, if the Republicans, if I was playing into the actual political WWE narrative, right? If I really believed in politics, Republicans might want to run that 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 Donald Trump DeSantis ticket. They might want to make Donald Trump their boy again, put DeSantis as his vice president and get him in office because that's the only way they're going to win. But you already know. I don't, I don't subscribe to that shit. I don't pay attention to it. I mean, I pay attention to it, but I don't believe in it. But besides that, man, make sure y'all like, subscribe, and share my videos. Um, yeah, man, if you if you got if you got an opinion on the matter, go ahead and hit me up. If you want to do a live stream, go ahead and hit me up. We can do that. I'm with it. It's all fun and games to me. Y'all have a blessed one.